Hi. <laughs> it's very important to talk about how to deal with memories. I was, uh, that was like 20 years ago. Uh, she was my best friend. She was as close as a sister to me. I have only one sister and she was the second one. We used to go out together. We, we, we had a lot of fun together. Uh, she used to sleep over. Um, I mean, I really, I, I adored her. Um, she was part of me. And of course, uh, she knows every single detail about my life, my private life, uh, my secrets, everything. One day, uh, another friend came to me and she told me that this best friend of yours, she is going around in society and she's talking about all your private stuff. And I was really sad to know this. Normally when I'm, uh, when I have, uh, at that time, when I had something towards someone, I would just leave quietly. I won't confront or talk about the bad stuff. I would just leave. And then I learned that when someone is really uh, means a lot to you, you should sit and talk and um, deal with it. Anyway, I just left her and uh, I stopped uh, receiving phone calls and she found me on Facebook and she contacted me. And I was so happy to hear from her, to be honest. And every time, you know, when she came to my mind, all what I thought of is the good memories of her, you know, how we used to have fun, uh, uh, but there was only uh, good feelings towards her. Uh, my love for her was, was more than, you know, hatred or being angry or being sad or... Every time, you know, she... I used to think of her sometimes and how would it be if she was with me in that place or experiencing this with me and every time I always thought of uh, good memories of her. Uh, so when she contacted me lately after 20 years, she asked me why, why did you, why did we lose contact? So I started telling her that this happened and that's why I had to leave and she was really shocked because she denied the whole thing and she said, I would never do this to you. And that's why I, I was really wondering, why did you leave? Why we, you wouldn't receive my calls? And it was really uh, like uh, tough to do this and to leave without a word. And you don't tell me what really happened. We would have talked it over. And anyway, I believed her. And what I want to say, imagine all those 20 years of my life, I spent them with hatred and being angry and uh, having all the bad feelings within me, like betrayal, like uh, not trusting people. Um, I had none of those feelings, thanks God. I mean, if I, if I had them, my life would have been ruined. Instead, it's, it's, I think it's a gift from God when you feel this way, that all what you have is, is, is love, and love is stronger than uh, feeling all those bad feelings. Although it taught me how to choose people and how to be careful, but not to judge people and to be in doubt about them, but just to, it opened up my eyes, you know, to, to be more careful with my secret stuff. I appreciate my privacy and uh, even when I'm talking about uh, my stories, uh, I don't call them as private and my aim is for the people to get the benefit out of, out of them. When I'm saying private life uh, or uh, my secrets is something has to do with me, only me, I mean people won't even get the benefit out of these secrets. So uh, it was really hurtful to know that if that happened, that she did that, but she didn't. So imagine, I'm talking about the memories when they come back to you and they come back to you in a very bad way. Um, 
they will ruin a person's life because when you still have those those baggage of feelings hurt uh, abandoned betrayal uh, doubts see they are all bad feelings they would really damage a person's life instead what i had is having fun with with, with her uh, uh, good feelings you know feelings of trust i mean what happened prevents me from having a friend relationship and i still i bless the friend relationship and i really uh, appreciate uh, to me friendship is even more than family they are family you know when a friend uh, is with you they become like family so uh, it's good to have good feelings uh, from our memories i mean imagine if i had all those 20 years thinking about this friend of mine in a very bad way my life would have been ruined and instead i was thinking about it in a good way so thanks god that this happened to me and i mean what effort would i've been doing for 20 years if i was thinking about um, about this friend of mine in a bad way what a bad effort and for what for nothing i mean this thing didn't even exist somebody came and they told me something about this girl and she's staying she's talking about your uh, private life and your secrets and not, none of these things are true so it, what a waste of time in something really uh, doesn't worth all this hurt or if 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 i had any of them but for me it was the opposite it's something i guess it's it was by luck that i was thinking of her in a good way so it manifested so all my relations and my life was manifesting in a nice way in a good way and didn't have this bad feelings within my heart it's good to have memories and to get the benefit out of them is to think about them in a good way in a nice way and uh, or to learn from them if they still hurt and you get to a conclusion that i learned this and i learned that it won't hurt you anymore if it was hurtful then it will repeat itself again and again you will be having the same the same incidents that you had from the past and it will be even more painful because it's triggering you because the feeling is still there the, bar, the vibration of the feeling is still there so the best thing to do is to interpret it in a good way or to learn from it so this way you will get rid of it what i do is i take out the vibrations the vibrations the bad ones i take them out completely it will be much easier for you to get over it and to be trained to look at the positives bye